어? 허어! <웃음> no way! No way! <웃음> Good day, dear people! How are we doing? So, I, like many of us, have been stuck indoors in the UK for quite a while now and just received the news that it's going to be at least three more weeks. As a result of that, I have decided to do what I can with um, the gardens that I know I'm very lucky to have and try and encourage as much wildlife in and learn as much about the wildlife in my gardens already as possible. Uh, I'm going to document it over the next three weeks and hopefully you guys can come along for the journey as well. Um, I've got a few ideas in mind, some quite exciting ones, some possibilities and hopefully some things I'm going to discover that I really wasn't expecting. So, come with me and we'll see what we can find. Right, so, I think if we start with the front garden. I think we'll start with the front garden, which for me holds the most possibilities, especially with macro photography. Um, before we go outside though, I'd like to explain that I'm not really going to show the full um, location. Obviously I'd kind of like to keep a little bit of privacy. Um, and one of the reasons I'm so eager to be outside is because I've spent so long indoors working on a new project. I'm very excited about it. It's been incredible to work on. And <laughs> yeah, I'd like, I'd like you guys to get involved, but I'll explain a little bit more about it later. In the meantime, this is the front garden. So this, it's the garden. It's been a little dreary and wet over the last few days, but as you can see, it's uh, starting to brighten up, it's starting to be a little bit warmer. I can see a lot more insect life, uh, but effectively it's one large overgrown patch of grass. I don't think it's been cut this year yet. I think it was last cut midsummer last year. So I'm quite optimistic for finding some cool stuff in there. I don't actually know that much about um, insects or macro photography. I've given it a go and I've really enjoyed it before. But we'll, uh, we'll just have to trial and error with it, I guess. <laughs> I think it's enough chit chat. Let's, uh, let's get taking photos. So far, this spot's looking the most interesting. Uh, this is actually right by my front door as well. Uh, so it really is literally on your doorstep. Oh, what are you? 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 Anyway, as I was saying, whilst I do this, I think it's a perfect opportunity. Ooh, what are you? Oh, there's so much going on. It's a perfect opportunity to tell you about the Isolation Wildlife Photography Awards. The Isolation Wildlife Photography Awards is a free to enter competition for absolutely everyone. Uh, there's no prizes, but it is the chance to get your photos and short films in front of some incredible judges. It's a project that I've been working on with a friend of mine, uh, Jack Mortimer, who had the original idea. Credit where it's due. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've been working. Oh, what are you? You're cool. You're a tiny little bee. Yeah, he's gone. It's literally just for fun and to be able to set yourself a challenge to get photographs are something that you may never usually get whilst in this isolation period. Uh, it's even open to uh, houseplants, we're making the exception in this case purely because we just want to encourage people to get involved with nature and to get involved with photography. So here's the thing, it's getting a bit hot out there at the moment so I've changed into my shorts and come indoors to cool off for a bit. So I'm gonna try the next aspect of this whole garden transformation 
uh, project and get the next stage underway. Uh, I'm not entirely confident on my abilities to <laughs> to get this uh, fully prepared in one go, but we'll give it a go. So once my parents had figured out that I was going to be spending isolation on my own, I think they felt a little bit sorry for me. So they took pity and very kindly sent me a new bird feeding station and what they described simply as a bag of seed. That's a lot of seed. <laughs> That's gonna take me years to get through. <laughs> so I started trying to put it together. It actually went relatively well, which I did find surprising because in the past, I'll be honest, I've struggled with Kinder eggs. Assembling and building things is uh, not a strength of mine, shall we say. <laughs> so I took it out into the garden and unfortunately we don't actually have any grass in the back garden, which is what this kind of feeding station requires because it's one that you drive into the ground. However, there was a climbing plant of some sort in a really large and heavy pot, which I thought would do the job. So I moved it away from the fence and into the centre. I did this for two reasons. One, to try and protect it from any cats that may be trying to predate the birds. And two, to put this directly in line with the double doors that back onto the garden, which would enable me to get some photos and footage quite easily from my kitchen. I also made sure to add the small tray of water because this can sometimes be more effective in attracting in birds than food can, especially during the warmer months. Now it was all set up, it was just a case of waiting. So I moved on to the last thing I had planned for that week. Right. So, it's getting quite late in the day now, but hopefully I'll have enough time for idea number two. I don't even know if the first one counts as an idea. Uh, one of the key things I'm going to be trying out over the course of the next three weeks, which is camera traps. I found the spot when wandering around earlier today and following some desire lines, which are basically the tracks made through grass. Um, or foliage of any kind really where animals keep following each other's footsteps because in theory They've already traveled a safe path So if it looks like something's been through here before you also as well as animals will follow that track because Subconsciously, you know, it's a safe route or more safe So the point I'm getting to is there's a point at which all the desire lines uh, and tracks through the grass converge in the front garden I'm gonna put that there probably just find a load of cats uh, but it takes four AA batteries. The light is fading, but I should be able to get it done. <laughs> it's mournful. Hey, Rom. I'm a little bit worried that it's not gonna. How do you set up? Menu. Mode. Mm. Oh, I have not left enough time. Yes, I just did that, and no one. Huh. What happened there? Ah, oh, that's gonna be annoying. Huh. Oh no, go away. Okay. Oh, it seems relatively simple. Cool, let's go set it up. So in there is where I want to leave it. If you look that way, you can almost see I don't, don't know if it's coming across on camera, but there's like a line straight through there. There's one on the left as well. We're going to try and dive straight in, but the road's right there. And there's a path as well. So, let me see. Oh. That's that done. All locked up. I guess we'll check the traps tomorrow. See you then. Right, it's been just over a week since I set up the camera trap. Ooh, so I'm leave it there. So I'm just gonna go out and grab the memory card and have a look and see what it's captured. <sighs> Let's load it up and see what we've got. my beard's got a little longer <laughs> don't worry it's not staying uh, <laughs> it will be uh, removed mm, I don't like the angle of this I think it's slipped 
A little from when I set it up. Ah, oh, there's a twig moving. Oh, this is annoying. I think something's setting it off, but moving through too quickly. Oh, there's definitely something been moving through. I think there's a delay. Oh, no. Okay, so... <sighs> Let's... Oh, you see it then? It was a tiny little bit of... There. Something there. It's too close. My angle's all off, people. My angle is all... There's a lot of sparrows going through this little... I wasn't expecting that, I have to say. Just flicking through them all now. It looks like whatever's coming through is going left to right each time. So I think I need to angle the camera. Pointing a little bit left. Sparrow... Oh, they're just cleaning up the ants. But to be fair, that would be quite a nice photo if I could rig a... Set up for that. It looks like the sparrows are coming in every day. What? <gasps> no way! No way! I. What? What the actual? Oh my god. Oh my god. I was not expecting that at all.